The ritualistic humiliation of Bill Maher is afoot. Let's take a look. But you be bucking up against that line a little bit. You know, you got a lot of black jokes. You know what I'm saying? You do. Well, in... You mean that one time a couple of weeks ago? Against racists. Uh, Not... Yes. Uh, Sometimes you sound like a redneck trucker. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. So wait, you're telling me that people from the South are a bunch of Bill Mars? Ew. Or are you saying that uh, all the truckers, the rednecks, they're all saying nigga to each other with the A? Yes, I got to push back on. All right, it's my opinion. Okay, it is. My, my thing I've is never this. heard that opinion before. But. My thing is this, you know, and I'm cool with you. I like your show. To be honest. Really? Because if I'm honest, I don't think you like the show at all. And you were brought here to be a token black man to represent all of black communities. So you can have Bill Maher kiss Jesse Jackson's ass. Um, I just want to know two questions. What made you think that it was cool to say that? Well, I'll tell you the first time I ever had to say the word. I walked into a record store. I said, I need straight out of Compton. They told me, we don't know what that is. I said, you know, NWA. They said, we don't know what that is. And so I said, you don't know what NWA is. They said, no, please tell us. What, is, what does the N stand for? But seriously, though, the irony that a man who became famous from being in a band called Niggas With Attitude, presumably prompting many white kids across the nation to become comfortable saying that word out loud, that word was mainstreamed by Ice Cube and people like him, and for him to pretend that some sort of war crime has been committed because Bill Maher said nigga on his show is fucking ridiculous. You know, I, I just... That's one question. I just explained. It, 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 there was no thought put into it. Obviously, I was telling Dr. Dyson... That's Michael Eric Dyson, a, another black man, and he speaks in word salad. Comedians, they react. And it was wrong, and I apologized, and... You know, I, more than that, I can't do. Well, here's something you can do. You can bring on three black individuals to shame you in front of the audience in order to grant the illusion that you are somehow really sorry. I accept your apology, but I still think we need to get to the root of the psyche because I think it's a lot of guys out there who cross the line because they're a little too familiar. And why are those kids so familiar with the word nigga? Is it perhaps that the song that got you famous starts with your part, uh, straight out of Compton, crazy motherfucker named Ice Cube, from the gang called Niggas with Attitude? Do you know how many people sang that along? It's the, like, second fucking line in the song. The irony that you're the one here bitching about this is delicious. Ice Cube, you made your career off of normalizing that word, making it okay for everyone across the nation because everyone really liked Straight Outta Compton. So now you're making a living pissing and moaning about the reality you brought forth. Or is it that all of that money dried up from that sweet, are we there yet cinematic universe money? Or they think they too familiar. Or is guys that, you know, you might have a black girlfriend or two that made them some Kool-Aid every now and then. Oh, so you're saying that people are, who say it aren't racist. They're just people who are in relationships with black women. And they think they can cross the line. And they can't. What is your favorite word, Kiefer? Nigger. What sound or noise do you hate? Breaks. What is your favorite curse word, Kiefer? It's simple. Nigger. That's right, people. You can't step over that line. It's not possible. You know, it's a word that has been used against us. It's like a knife, man. And you can use it as a weapon or you can use it as a tool. It's been used as a weapon against us by white people. <laughs> that, that words are like bullets. And if you give... What the fuck are you talking about? The word was used as a weapon. That's moronic. Look, I'm all for being respectful to people, and that includes probably not using racial slurs against people. However, I don't like the idea of thought policing and telling people that certain words can't be used, because even if you mute words, people will still have those feelings and expressions and they won't have a way to voice them. It'll permeate into other words and it's 
It's just complicated. Either everything's okay or nothing is okay. It's as simple as that. And when a man is just telling a fucking joke, he's just telling a fucking joke. So learn to take a fucking joke, Ice Cube. And look, that word, the slur, the actual one, not nigga, the one I'm kind of uncomfortable saying, unlike Kiefer Sutherland, of course. But that word was a symptom of our society, and the world was the way it was. In fact, it wasn't just that white people had created slavery. Everyone around the world had created slavery. In fact, white people ended slavery. But sure, keep making everything racialized. It's going to make everyone get along much better. So I'm just going to sit here and laugh my ass off at Ice Cube and people like him that pretend that words are somehow nuclear weapons that can end wars and all of that. Look, it's just as simple as this. Treat others as you would expect to be treated, okay? I'm not even a religious guy, but I think that's a fair rule. I think that's a foundation of common respect. Let's go ahead and move on. And we're not going to let that happen again by nobody because it's not cool. Now, oh, okay, so you want to make sure nobody can say a word, not even black people. All right, whatever. I know you heard it's in the, it's in the lexicon, everybody talking, but that's our word now. Can you imagine a scenario, just use your imagination, let it run wild, where based on race, certain people didn't have access to certain languages? That just sounds... This is obviously a slippery slope, worst case scenario, logical extreme, but that's where it will go if you let it go on. That's our word now, and you can't have it back. I can't pretend that Bill Maher hurled a racial slur at a black man or anything like that. This is just virtue signaling, is all it is, and explaining to people why, if you're white or Mexican, you can't say certain words. This is about racial privilege for certain words. It's incredibly petty, but the precedent that could be set is a bit dangerous, I think. And I also won't sit here and pretend that the word that Bill Maher used was the same word that Kiefer Sutherland used. I guess that's all I really got to say. And look, like I said, you shouldn't go around hurling racial slurs and saying it on national television probably isn't the best idea, even if you're Bill Maher and you think you're untouchable. But you probably shouldn't do that if you have a primarily liberal audience. However, what I find ridiculous and just downright mind-blowing is how it's being presented as if he hurled a racial slur at somebody or it's actually being portrayed as if he had committed a crime what compelled me to make this video was the very thought of a person who became famous off of a band called niggas with attitude complaining that an old white man said i'm a house nigga with an a by the way not even the er it just i couldn't shake that feeling to even consider that Ice Cube of all people would point his finger and wag it at somebody for normalizing the use of the N-word. Motherfucker, you normalize the use of the N-word, nigga. Ten seconds, Mr. Marsh. Well, I know it, but I don't think I should say it. Five seconds, Mr. Marsh. Uh, all right, I'd like to solve the puzzle. Niggers! Uh... Huh? <laughs>